Most of the stuff in the section on assessing students is very similar to what you're already doing in Blackboard. Again, the metaphor is the same. It's just that the, that the buttons where things are have been moved around. You can create assignments, uh, although now there are some new features in assignments. And we'll switch into Blackboard. You're going to see re regular assignments. You can have multiple assignments, multiple attempts, so students can get a second chance, a third chance, if you want to set it up. You can have group assignments where one submission from a group of students and also, as, as before, you can have turn it in assignments. So now if we switch into Blackboard, in this same content area, and much like the current system, if you wanted to have more content areas, you can just add content areas. Right, right on this menu, you can add a Shakespeare section. You can add a geography section, whatever, whatever content folders you need. For this demo, we're just going to keep working in the same, in the same single content folder. And here is create assessment. So if you, if you need to create a test, a survey, or an assignment, all of those choices are on one menu. So we're going to start with an assignment. First paper. All right. Here you could type in instructions for the first paper. Or as before, you could browse for a file that is the instructions for the first paper. Here's the stuff that's new. Right? This first choice is what we have right now in Blackboard, allow single attempt. But you can also allow unlimited attempts or a specific number of attempts if you, wa if you want to give them two tries or three tries at submitting this paper. A first draft, a second draft, a third draft. As before, you can control the dates. And here you can select all students individually, what we have now, or a new choice, a group of students. All right, so you can, you can make this assignment for one particular group of students, only one submission from the group. And when you have made all your choices, as always, click Submit. And here's the first paper assignment that the students are going to see. If this isn't where you want it, you can drag it up the page to make this more prominent. And then they click the link to browse to and upload a paper. We don't have turn it in assignments turned on on this test server. So when we get to it, we'll have another lesson on turn it in assignments. Turn it in assignments will be part of Blackboard 9 in much the same way that they're part of Blackboard 8. Tests and quizzes are somewhat the same as they've been. Again, they're, they're for the most part, just where are, how do you create a new test or a quiz? I want to create an assessment and a test. Uh, if I had tests already, they'd be here, but I need to create a new one. Uh, first test. You could write a description of the test that's going to appear outside before the students go in. submit. And this is much like the test you created before. Right? The difference here, you want to create a question, you pick from this list. So if we want to do a multiple choice question, uh, you can give the question a title. First question works, or if, you, if you're going to need to sort these later, you might want to be uh, more specific about what's in the question, but we'll put in first question. Uh, which answer is correct? These choices are all the same. Enter your answers, one, two, three, and four. Or more, you can go up to 20. And submit. You can also reuse questions if you have questions up already, or upload questions if you have questions on your computer from a, a publisher or a test bank.
When you're done, click OK, and now you have a test to publish. Right? Always with Blackboard, there's two steps. Create the test and then publish it. And now first test is on the bottom, and we're going to move that up because that's now the most important thing. All right, now we're going to work through the Grade Center, and this is another tool with which many of you are already familiar. Again, it, it's a lot the same, it, just the buttons are moved around a little bit. Uh, how, how we're going to find it, where do you access the Grade Center, how do you view assignments, uh, how you use the Grade Center to email students. That's a feature we have already, but I'll show you where that is here. Uh, and we'll just touch on adaptive release, the early warning system, and the performance dashboard. Uh, different ways of, of using Blackboard to figure out what your students are up to. And this is the course we've been working in right along. And over here on this control panel in the bottom left is the Grade Center. And if I touch this double arrow, this opens up. Now I want to switch courses, and I'll show you a course that has some bogus students in it. So I can go back out to, to the main page and I have a Grade Center demo site set up. And again, here in the bottom left is the Grade Center. I can look at the full Grade Center. Right. And now these are bogus students, so we don't have actual students' names in the, in the course for you to see. If you want to look at a particular student's assignment, when you go into the intersection between the column and this particular student's name, you get a double down arrow for that student. When you click that, you get view grade details. And then over here in the bottom right, you view attempt. And this will take you right into either the particular test for that student or the submission if it's an assignment. We can use these links to go back to the Grade Center. Each of these column headings is a sort utility. Right. Where this is important, if you have a column like this with some students graded and some not, You can sort this so that the ungraded ones are on the top. And then when you click into here, click the top double down arrow, and then view grade details. The sort that you did outside in the grade center persists up here. Right? This bogus student is ungraded. If I step to the next student, right, student two is also ungraded. So you can just quickly step through the ungraded ones. And another use of that, that sort feature, say we look at this SA3, when we sort, here's three, four students that didn't do it. So I can check these. And up here, email, and email selected students. Hey, guys, why didn't you do this assignment yet? All right, and it's, uh, you don't see who else is on the list. You get the email. And, and everybody else gets the email, but you don't know who else is on the list. It's just, hey, why didn't you take this quiz? Or whatever it is. Or another way to do it. You could do a sort, and everybody that got 100 gets an attaboy. Right? You, you can sort any column any way you want, and then email any subset of the class. If you need to rearrange the columns, if the grade center becomes too wide, you can use this manage and column organization. And then this is the same drag and drop that we've been working with, Drag dragging them up. 
and clicking Submit moves them to the left on the grade center so you can keep the columns that you need to see where they'll come up right away. And I just want to touch on the idea of the adaptive release system. This is uh, something that we have already. Uh, pretty much everything we've done here has had dates that you can release, release things on. Blackboard has the adaptive release system that enables you to release things based on other events. So for instance, a score on a quiz. You have to get 100 on, on a quiz in order for the next thing to be released. If you want more information about adaptive release, let us know. Uh, the early warning system is a set of rules that you can put in. Um, you build a rule in advance, and as any student who gets less than a 60 on a quiz is filtered out, and automatically you get and they get an email. You have to run the rule to generate the email, but you build the rule in advance. Again, more information we can talk at another time. And the last thing I want to show you is the performance dashboard under evaluation. So again, in the control panel in the bottom left under evaluation is the performance dashboard. Here you can see any early warning system rules and how they've, and how they've been met or not met, uh, how many posts on the discussion board, how many days since last access. So there are students here who haven't been in in 627 days. They fail. Any questions or comments, you can either email fcshelp at hofstra.edu or call Faculty Computing Support at 516-463-6894. I'm Paul Carson, and this is the Instructional Design Team from Hofstra University. Thank you.